Hey guys, this is Rage of Game Dev, and welcome to the next video in our tutorial series on how to make a platformer in Love 2D. So, getting started here, we're going to be talking about Tiled and what the heck Tiled is. So, Tiled is this open source free um, tiled map editor, and it's extremely useful. Now, the reason why, besides all that, why we're using it, is it also exports to this really awesome Lua map format. Basically, it just creates a table with all the information and data that we need. So that is perfect. It's exactly what we want. So starting off, we're going to create um, a tiled map for this first part. So let's go over here. Let's create one. Um, tiled, um, the tiled si tile size will be 16 pixels. Width, I'm going to say around 64 by 64. All right. That gives us a really big map to work with. And there's no reason why we want to have a map that big. So next, let's make a tile map. Let's name it tiles. Um, tile width, width 16 by 16. Margin, we're actually going to have one pixel margin. The source of the image, I created a, a new directory in our project. So if we go over here, um, assets, inside assets, I have images, and here we have tile sheet, um, sheet.png. So this tile set I'm actually using for, um, oops, that didn't work. I'm using for a, another project. Um, yeah, let, let's restart this one. Trash that. I'm using it for a project um, in actually Corona SDK. I think I need spacing instead of margin. So let's try that instead. And yeah, that worked. All right, so yeah. Um, so yeah, we can draw on it and do all that stuff. Um, what we want to do is actually create a template for all our maps. So over here, let's rename this. Layer properties, let's name this. Um, let's name this foreground. So how we're going to do this is we're going to have five layers total for our camera, for our rendering engine. Um, the player and all the objects, or at least a lot of the objects, I want them in the third layer, which means it's sandwiched between two layers. The very back layer is where I'm going to put the sky background and some other stuff. The, uh, the second to the back, that's where I'm going to put tiles. Um, and also in the in the the tile in front of it or the layer in front of the objects, I'm also going to put foreground tiles. So that's going to help um, help with a lot of stuff. For now, we're not going to be able to implement this until we change our how our rendering engine works a little bit. But we're gonna you know we're gonna add it anyway just to get started here, just for uh, the future. So let's so we got a foreground. Let's make this a tile layer like our main tile, so let's just name it um, main tile, I guess. No, actually, let's name it tiles. And then I'm going to put a prefix here. I'm going to name it, or suffix, I guess. I'm going to name it BG. Next, we're going to create a new layer. I'm going to name it tiles. And right here, I'm going to say solid. So we got three layers here, the solid layer, the background layer, and the foreground. In here, we're going to create a custom property in the foreground. Er, Actually, yeah, in all of these, we're going to create a custom property. We're going to name it solid. And it's going to be the number zero. Zero means no. It means false. One means it is solid. In the background, we're going to do the exact same thing. Solid. Then we're going to make it zero. Tile solid, we're going to make it the number one. Okay. So next, in all these, we're going to make we're going to say which layer it is. So front to back, um, actually, we're not going to worry about this right now. We'll worry about this when we actually add the camera layer and all that crap. So now we have this basic template. We're going to save this. And we can actually start working on maps. So I'll create a really easy one for us to load in in the next episode. Um, in here, we're going to create a new folder. We're going to name it maps. Inside this map, we're going to name, we're just going to name this level one. Okay, so in here, let's create a simple, simple map. Let's create some grass, a little hill here, um, something to jump over, then also to test our our physics engine. We're all in solid here. Test our physics engine. Then I'm going to be creating. I'm not going to be using box 2D or anything. I'm going to make it so we can jump up. In the background now, um, since we don't want everything here to be solid, we're just going to actually hold up. Yeah, the more solids you have, that's the more the, the more you know time it takes 
it, it will slow down the game. Um, actually, right here, I want this to be solid. So we're going to do that. I'll lay down, then background, like this. And do actually, let's do this. And also that there. Yeah, I might be doing some uh, speed paints of tile maps that I make because I make quite a few of them for different projects that I work on. Um, and also more speed coding videos because that was actually a lot of fun to make. It's just, it's kind of more relaxing than one of these tutorial videos because you don't really have to. Oh shoot, we're in solid. Yeah, let's delete a lot of that. Um, no, actually, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, come on now. There we go. We don't want all this to be solid. It's not a really big deal because our engine will be plenty fast to handle this. But um, just for future sake, future reference, let's not do that. So yeah, Tiled has a lot of really cool tools. For instance, selecting a bunch of different tiles like this, so it makes yeah, it makes making maps a lot faster. Right here, we're just gonna do this. Make sure we're on background, and then all the way down here. Here, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna add a couple background things. Right, let's actually make a layer right here of stone, and then a layer of kind of half stone, half whatever the background is. So there we go. So I'm gonna click Control Shift E to export. In documents, we're gonna to go to our project. Um, Love to D, platformer, assets, maps. We're gonna name this level one and make sure you export it as a dot Lua file. We could parse, you know, um, XML and whatever, but or JSON, but uh this is a lot easier. So yeah, let's save this and that'll be your map. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and in the next tutorial, we'll actually be loading it in code. We're actually gonna be creating the loader for it. So yeah, thanks for watching.